12 incredible vehicles you didn't know existed. Number 12. We've all likely been inside a truly luxurious vehicle at one point or another, be it a Mercedes, a Lexus, or even a simple BMW. These cars leave a lasting impression on you, as they've truly built with the highest quality interior available. However, it's unlikely you've ever heard of a luxury model ATV. A company known as Howie & Howie created this vehicle known as a Ripsaw. This tank-like vehicle was even used as the inspiration behind the peacemaker in the film Mad Max Fury Road. This particular vehicle, the Ripsaw EV2, came to the market in 2015. According to Howie & Howie, this vehicle is the fastest dual-tracked vehicle to ever exist. The tank has 600 diesel horsepower and has a top speed of around 60 miles per hour. This is a serious amount of power, with many saying that the vehicle has sports car-like acceleration. The Ripsaw was created as a military vehicle, though it has since been released in limited numbers to the public. This is truly one of the most unique vehicles around though it has an extremely steep price tag that reaches well into six figures. Number 11. The Isetta 300 is considered by many to be one of the world's first compact car designs. While the trend of tiny homes and tiny cars may seem like a modern idea, this vehicle was available for purchase back in the early 1950s. The car was only 7.5 feet long and 4.5 feet wide and was almost definitely a death trap on wheels. There were only 19 inches between the front and rear wheels, with drivers having to enter the vehicle through a door mounted in front of the seat, behind the steering wheel. The Isetta 300 only achieved a top speed of around 45 miles per hour though it wasn't designed to be a speedy car in the first place. This car was almost exclusively owned by those who simply needed to run short errands around town and was marketed almost exclusively to women. After the 300, BMW decided to release an Isetta 600 which had four doors, though that model wasn't nearly as popular. In total, only 136,000 Isettas were ever sold and they were ultimately discontinued in 1962. The cars weren't able to keep up with the competition, such as the Mini, which has become more popular in today's market, but even Mini has since been discontinued in America. Number 10. The Lincoln Blackwood is a bit of an odd vehicle, as it was considered to be the world's first luxury pickup truck. No, that's not a typo of any sort. Lincoln, owned by Ford Motor Company, actually developed a luxury model pickup truck, available only in 2002. The truck was designed in response to a consumer research study that claimed consumers wanted a pickup truck but also wanted the luxurious amenities of Lincoln's classy lineup of cars. Ford took to the drawing board and came up with one of the strangest truck designs ever built. The truck was built on the body and frame of a Ford F-150. America's most popular pickup truck. The truck came standard with four full doors and a split design tailgate to make for easy cargo access. The cargo compartment was quite odd for this truck though, as it had a hood placed on top of it and was lined with LED lights. It's unclear why this truck existed, as it was totaled up to be little more than a limited version of an SUV. Number 9. The looks of this vehicle can be a bit deceiving. When the Swincar Spider is sitting on a standard concrete surface, it may look like little more than a modified go-kart, though this vehicle is one of the most well-equipped all-terrain vehicles around. On the surface, this bicycle-like vehicle seems as though it may even be a child's toy, but in reality, it's quite the opposite. This vehicle is built with four independently suspended tires, meaning that this buggy is capable of maneuvering massive rocks, slopes, ditches, pitfalls, and even mountains. The Swincar Spider is truly a marvel of modern engineering, as it's capable of going almost literally anywhere with ease. The car is built using all electric components, meaning that it has no engine and very low maintenance requirements. Each wheel has its own motor that is ultimately attached to a single steering column at the front of the spider. Still images do this vehicle little justice. This cart must be seen in motion to capture what it is capable of. These carts are not cheap, but they are well worth their price take for any off-road enthusiast. Number 8. 
The Lima Air T282B is known as being the world's largest dump truck, and that isn't an understatement by any means. This truck measures 48 feet long, 29 feet wide, and has a 21-foot wheelbase, weighing in at an unimaginable 544 tons. This truck cannot be legally driven on any public road and has a price tag of over $5 million. The truck is made for hauling large amounts of waste that come from factories or other businesses that deal with large-scale trash. The truck is so large that it cannot even be transported to its place of work. It has to be completely assembled on site, as it won't fit on any road to be towed to its final destination. Number 7. The Gaz M was considered to be a carbon copy of Ford's Model B that was built and sold around the time of World War II. The car proved to be popular among its Russian market though. A separate model of this vehicle was released, known as the Gaz VM. This vehicle was largely the same as the Gaz M, though it was equipped with snowmobile-like tires in the rear, making it a truly all-terrain vehicle. It was originally designed as a military prototype, but was eventually placed into production. Only around 100 were ever built, and nearly all of them were sold to Russian officers for official use. Number 6. An Austrian company known as Matro has designed a new type of off-road vehicle known as a Drenner. Matro is no stranger to the off-road market, as they have been designing all-terrain vehicles for many years now. The company typically builds vehicles that are capable of maneuvering dirt, rock, or snow. The Adrenor, however, is capable of treading all three with ease. This vehicle is almost like a cross between a snowmobile and a tank. Its tracks allow the Adrenor to take on wet and dry land without the need of changing out treads, as is common with certain ATV vehicles on the market. The vehicle operates with three independent electric motors that allow for an incredible and almost unbelievable 1,033 pounds per foot of torque. This seems unreal, given that the Adrenor only puts out around 107 horsepower. Top speeds are estimated to be around 50 miles per hour, making this a truly versatile vehicle suitable for nearly any purpose. You can even tow loads as heavy as 550 pounds without putting any serious strain on the motors. Number 5. This is more of a product than a vehicle, but this product can turn any car or truck into an all-terrain vehicle with ease. Matrax is a company located in Minnesota that designed tank-style wheel assemblies that can fit onto just about any production car. The product does exactly what it claims, so there is little additional information to offer. If you have an old clunker that you're looking to get a bit of extra use out of, consider giving Matrax a call to turn your old vehicle into a fully equipped snowmobile. Number 4. A Toyota minivan isn't likely to be a vehicle you'd associate with off-road performance. Though Toyota is affiliated with a group that created what they called the ultimate utility vehicle, the vehicle is built on the frame of a Toyota Tacoma, a common choice for off-road enthusiasts. However, the body of a Sienna minivan has been attached to the chassis, making this quite a strange combination of components. The van was initially designed to be a transport vehicle for Toyota employees who were part of the ever better expedition across America. However, the van received more than a few concerned glances and has now become quite a popular attraction amongst car show attendees. The idea behind this behemoth of a van was to use the Sienna's roomy interior to allow workers a comfortable environment to continue to work while on the road. Though the Tacoma's chassis made much more sense for this build, as it was designed for unsurpassed off-road performance. The frame was then equipped with a 4-inch lift, 33 by 22 mudding tires, and 22-inch wheels. Suicide doors were also a must, making this truly one of the most odd-looking off-road vehicles around. Number 3. The Ford F-150 is one of the most iconic pickup trucks of all time. It has broken sales records time and time again, and continues to be America's favorite truck. There are several variations of the F-150 available, including the Sport, King Ranch, Raptor, and Velociraptor. However, very few people have ever heard of Ford's Hennessy Velociraptor 6x6. This truck is built on the frame and body of an F-150, but has been extended so that it can be equipped with six tires. 
The truck is built with an engine that outputs 602 horsepower, with a 0-60 time of just 4.9 seconds. The truck is most commonly available in bright orange color, though several others have been released as well. The Hennessy Velociraptor has become popular more recently, after Post Malone obtained ownership of one of these beasts. This truck is one of the most well-equipped pickups available on today's market, and its price tag certainly reflects that. With an MSRP of $349,000, this truck is sure to turn a few heads while riding down the highway. Number 2. A UAE-based company has decided to create a vehicle that combines design elements from American and Japanese sports cars and all-terrain vehicles to create one of the most unique ATVs on the market. The vehicle is known as the Zaruk Sand Racer and is designed to not only be a lightning-fast race car, but also a serious performance vehicle while off-road as well. This car truly has it all, as it's comfortable and roomy enough for everyday use, but also practical for tackling nearly any physical challenge you can throw at it. The base model is powered by a 3.5-liter rear-mounted engine that puts out 304 horsepower. However, the Sand Racer can be tuned to output somewhere in the neighborhood of 500 horsepower with minimal adjustments to keep the vehicle's weight at a minimum. The car is only two-wheel drive, weighing in at just 2,315 pounds. This vehicle is one of the most interesting all-terrain vehicles on the market right now, and certainly one of the most powerful. Number 1. The Saar Tank may be the strangest vehicle on this list. Back during World War I, the tank was invented as a way to infiltrate enemy bases while keeping its occupants safe and enemy troops in as most danger as possible. The tank has proven to be one of the most popular military vehicles even by today's standards. They are commonly found in nearly every form of militia all across the world. However, during World War I, Russia had a different idea of what a military tank vehicle should be and developed the Tsar tank. This vehicle looks quite similar to some of the world's first bicycles, or possibly a tricycle gone wrong. The design consisted of two 27-foot wheels that could allegedly roll over anything that they encountered as far as terrain. The idea, in theory, was quite solid. However, the fatal flaw of this design was that the rear wheel had a nasty habit of getting stuck on just about anything. This put the lives of soldiers at risk and proved this vehicle to be essentially worthless in battle. The idea was scrapped before it ever entered mass production, and this vehicle now lives on as one of the strangest and most useless off-road vehicles ever designed.